In this session, we learn what Xcode is and where do we get it from. Xcode is a piece of software that helps us build iPhone applications. It's basically an IDE, Integrated Development Environment. We use IDEs to make other pieces of software. For instance, the same way that we use Microsoft Word to get ourselves text documents, we use IDEs to make other applications such as Microsoft Word itself. So to get Xcode, I'm going to head into the internet and here I'm going to search for Apple developer. I'm going to go directly to developer.apple.com. So if you go to developer.apple.com, that's where we can actually find everything that we need for developing basically iOS or Mac applications. I go to developer.apple.com and depending on the time that you go there, you might see a different screen in here. In any case, at the bottom of this, there is usually a place for downloading Xcode. Or if you want, just go to Google and search for download Xcode if you prefer, you know, just directly going there. I want to take you through the different steps so you understand the relationship between Xcode and Apple and everything as well. So developer.apple.com is the portal for everything to do with the development of Mac or iOS applications. Within it, in the develop, there is Xcode. If you click on the Xcode, again, depending on the version that you're, you're installing, you will get to see this view that introduces a certain version of it. And then somewhere at the bottom, you should find the download Xcode, uh, that version. If you go to that download, it's going to ask you to log in to this developer. And if you don't have a login, it's going to ask you to make yourself a username and password. Once you're done with that, you will end up in this view, which is Apple's repository of different software, uh, latest versions of iOS, the latest versions of Mac OS, as well as applications that are the ones that we care about, which help us build uh, our tools, our iOS tools or Mac tools. And at the time of recording this one, which is around September 15th or 16th today, I guess, Xcode 12 Seed is the latest one. Uh, if that's the case with you as well, just download that or download one of the Xcodes that is still uh, in a more uh, you know, stable version. If they have beta with them, it means they are not very stable. Uh, still, if there's beta like six, it means there has been another five betas before it. So it's still quite you know, stable. Uh, choose the one that you know Apple recommends and it says this is the release one and that's the one that you know works well. Uh, download that and once you download it, usually it takes quite a while because these files are quite large. I think this version export 12, if I go to the file, I think is something about uh, 10 gigabytes if I'm not wrong. It's about actually 12 gigabytes. So it takes a little while to download. Once it came down, we will work on, you know, extracting it and adding it to our applications. I feel like at this point, you might want to basically pause the video, wait for this whole process to happen, make yourself a username and password, make yourself an account on the developer.apple.com and then follow along with me. In any case, uh, if you chose to pause the video, please do that. If not, just carry on with me. Or if you're watching this after pausing the video, just uh, continue with me. So once your download is finished, you will end up in this situation where you have your Xcode package, which is usually zipped using XIP, it's usually compressed using XIP. You have to double click on that and you have to extract Xcode package out of it. This extraction usually takes quite a while, maybe about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, that's why you, know, you probably need to, again, unfortunately, pause the video if you wanted to. However, the next step is, is not all that complex. So what you wanna be doing next is you wanna add Xcode as one of your applications. So here I have my applications folder open. I'm gonna drag Xcode over it and drop it in here. And now I have Xcode within my applications and what I can do is I can actually run Xcode. Uh, it's possible that in the very first run that when you try to uh, open Xcode, it's gonna ask you to install a few new additional, you know, components or, or stuff. If that does happen, you basically have to say, uh, yes, do that because you know, that's what we want to happen. So here install additional required components. Yes, it's gonna ask me for my password and then it's gonna take a little while to install all of these things. Uh, depending on, on how many you know, different components are needed, this might take a little while. Hopefully in my case, it won't be as much. If I feel like it's going to take a while, I might pause the video and then uh, come back to it once 
uh, once all the components are installed. Uh, this process is something that you obviously do it just once at this very beginning and for this lesson. And then from this point on, it happens once every few months that you have to get a new version of Xcode. If there is a new uh, major release or a major update that Apple recommends that you get a new one. And this is it, Xcode is now loaded. Uh, it's up here if you don't see it and now it's loaded in here as well it shows me the welcome to xcode uh, for me it shows me some of the older uh, applications in here because it uses the same repository as other versions of xcode but for you it's probably saying no projects in here which would be similar to going in here clearing the reset uh, recent ones and then saying load xcode so you should be able to see something like this if you end up in here uh, congratulations it means you have managed to install xcode successfully you have it on your machine a slightly longer process but uh, once you do it now then you don't really need to do it anymore at least for the next few months so let's keep it up to here and let's move on to our next lesson where we use xcode to see how we can actually uh, make our very first application